Hi friends, this is Nageshwam. Welcome to my channel, ITPAD143. In this tutorial, I will show you how to use master pages in the publications created in Microsoft Office Publisher 2007. Open Publisher 2007. Master pages contains the elements that we want to repeat them on multiple pages in a publication. By using master pages, we can give our publication a more consistent appearance. Master pages are an invisible layer on which our publication is built. They contain design and layout elements such as margin guides, headers, footers, logos, and pictures. Here I have a document with five pages. In each page, I have some data. To open master page, come to view menu, select to master page, and we can also use control M shortcut key to open the master page. And it will open the edit master pages window. By default, it will start the master page with A. Now it is empty. I want to add watermark with my logo. In the middle, on the top right corner, I want to add my image with my designation and in the top left corner I want to add company address. After entering the required elements in the master page, close the master view. Notice that in each page we got the master elements. If we click on these items, we can't select them because it is showing these objects are on the master page. So to change them, we need to go to master page and also master pages offers to make updates easier. We can add and update the page elements in one place instead of changing them on each publication page. If you want to hide the master page from specific page, go to the page. Here I want to select second page. Before that, come to view and deselect two page spread. And after that, come to apply master page task pane. Click on the arrow and please select ignore master. And it will remove master page elements from that page only. We can also ignore master pages from view menu. Here, please select the option ignore master page. Again, I want to apply master page here. In publications that have more than one page, we can create multiple master pages for a more versatile publication design. Multiple master pages provide a variety of layouts that we can apply to any of the pages in our publication. So to create different master pages, select view master pages. Otherwise, come to view and select a master page. In edit master pages task pane, click on new master page. It is showing the page ID as B. We can use any single Unicode character. And if you want, we can add our own description and select the two page master checkbox. If you want your publication set up as a two page spread. But please remember that if your current publication is only a single page, two facing pages will be added to the master pages. But the number of pages in our publication will not automatically increase. Click on OK. Now we got the master page B. In this, I want to add only sun auto shape. After this, close master view and check in all the pages. All are having master page A. Now come to the page you want to add master page B. Here I'm selecting page 3 and click on the arrow in apply master page and select the master page B. Again check all the pages. I got the master page B element only for third page. And we can also apply master pages to specific pages by clicking on apply to page range. Come to select a master page, click on the arrow. Here we can select master page A or master page B. And come to apply to. Here we can apply this to all the pages or a specific number of pages or the current page. Click on OK. Remember that always preferable to design the master page first to avoid the conflict with the data in the publication. Publisher also offers a nice feature that we can send the items from publication to master page. Click the items that we want to Add on the master page and to select more than one item, hold down control while we click. After that, come to arrange menu and select the option send to master page. And I got the notification your selection was moved to master page A. To edit the selection, press control M. OK. Now check the pages where we applied master page A. And in all the pages, I got the master page element that we added from publication. 
Sometimes we need to create and use a master page with elements that are almost identical to an existing master page. Rather than recreate the identical elements on a new page, we can duplicate the existing master page and then change or add the elements that we want on the duplicate master page. For that, come to view and select master page. In the edit master pages task pane, click the arrow next to the name of the master page that we want to duplicate and select the option duplicate. In the duplicate master page dialog box, enter any single Unicode character. In page ID, I'm keeping it as default and type the description if required. After that, click on OK. Now we came into the duplicate master page. Here we can edit this. After adding the elements, click on close master view. Now come to the page where you want to add the duplicate master page and click on the arrow, select the duplicate master page and we got the elements from the master page. If you want to delete the master pages, come to view master pages. Click on the arrow next to master page and here we can select the option delete and we can also rename the master page by selecting the option rename. Here we can enter the character in page ID and we can also add the description. Again, if you want to edit any master pages, click on arrow and select the option edit. Like this, we can use master pages in the publications created in Microsoft Office Publisher 2007. I hope you like this video. If you like this video, please click on like button and please share this video with your friends. And please visit my channel ITBot143 to watch more latest uploaded videos. And don't forget to subscribe my channel. Thank you friends. Have a nice day.